Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Yankee haul, the semi-annual sale haul, um, to show you. And then some wax melts I got at Joann's that I bought a while ago and forgot about them. <laughs> they just sat in a bag and I never even did a haul video on them because there's just like four clamshells that I bought. So I don't know, it wasn't really like haul video worthy, I guess. Um... But I'm going to show you what I got today. I already went to Yankee and I did a haul where I think I just bought votives. Like the votives that were 50 cents. I can't remember. It was in like my first Bath and Body Works haul. But I can't remember what I bought. So now I bought more stuff. Tarts only. No candles. So if you care about the candles, you're not going to like this. Because there's no candles in this video. It's just wax melts. Um, but I forgot which scents I bought and which ones I didn't, and so I, I know I bought duplicates, I'm sure, of some of them, but, oh well. Whatever. So, the, um, reason why I went to Yankee was because they marked their tarts down to 75% off, making them, like, 49 cents each, and I bought a bunch of them. I wanted some for my sister for her birthday present, because if you guys have been paying attention to any of my videos, I bought her a big hurricane for candles from Bath and Body Works that she likes to burn. That's going to be in a Bath and Body Works haul that I have. And then I bought um, her, like, I've been gathering a bunch of different wax melts for her. So these are ones that I'm going to be giving her as well. Um, I'm not, but I'm not giving her too many because I don't want to overwhelm her and that um, candle hurricane itself or luminary, however, whatever you'd like to call it, was like... 20 something dollars on its own so um and then I think I'm giving her like probably uh, 30 or 40 dollars worth of like wax melts I can't I don't I don't remember and I don't really care I'm not really adding it up I'm just gonna figure out what I think that she'd like versus what she wouldn't like but anyway let's get to the haul so um let's do um let's do the Joanne stuff first because I can just do that and get it done with it's only gonna take a minute um I went there looking for the Tuscany candle wax and I only found one. Uh, no idea why. It was like hidden in the back. Um, I had a guy kind of show me around. He could not show me where, um, like they just had the Hudson 43 uh, wax melts, but he could not find where I found this like Tuscany candle one. He thinks it was like um, seasonal or something. My Joanne sucks. I went there again today, and they didn't looking for more Tuscany candle or yeah wax melts, and they didn't have anything. But I'm really happy that the one that I did find. Oh, hang on a second. My cat's going crazy. Oh no! Don't jump on my stuff, Tiger. No, 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 Tiki, no, 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 no. Stay back. You want to see this? What is that? Guys can't see him. He's interested in the wax melts. Okay, so anyway, I was happy that um, the one that I did find by Tuscany Candle is like uh, one that I was actually looking for, which was the Lavender Crumpets. I felt like I hit the jackpot with this because a lot of people are saying this is like a dupe for, or very similar to the Paris Lavender Macaron candle from Bath and Body Works. I don't think so. <laughs> in my opinion, it doesn't smell like it. I think this smells like citrus lavender or lemon lavender this smells like lemon lavender from um yankee or any company that does a lemon lavender scent because i can smell the lavender it's like an herbal lavender and i smell like that lemon citrus scent so to me and very very little bakery but i had to try it because people were saying good things about it so regardless of what it actually like smells like if it smells like that candle or not if it smells good I'm gonna like it so I got that I think it was on clearance but I don't know they're regularly like $3.99 it was probably I don't know 25% off or something and then I I used some kind of coupon I don't know $3.99 is pretty expensive for like clamshells when you're used to buying them from Walmart um, but anyway, let's move on. So the next three are just the Hudson 43. That was the only Tuscany one I could find. There were none today when I went to the store. So another disappointing day. I wanted to find the cotton candy and I wanted to find the, like, that puffed flower, puffed petals or something one. So if you can find that for me, I will send you money to ship it to me. 
because I don't know. I'm going to have to look around and see if there's other stores that carry them, but my the one in my city does not does not have them so anyway the next one I got is fruit smoothie from Hudson this smells like a fruit smoothie this smells really good this kind of smells like the Yankee like what I would imagine the raspberry sorbet smells like this is this is really nice I hope this throws we'll see I'm gonna try and melt it soon that smells really good. The next one I have is French toast. Um, all about finding a French toast scent that throws after getting the um, one from Walmart that I tried that didn't have any throw. And this kind of smells like French toast. It has like a red hot cinnamon scent to it that's really faint. I'm not a fan of like the red hot cinnamon scent when it should be like bakery, baker's cinnamon scent. It's mild enough that like you wouldn't notice it unless you didn't like it like myself. I'm hoping it changes when I melt it and I'm hoping that it has decent thrills so hopefully you will see that in empties video soon after I melt it and then I actually tried two of these but I honestly don't remember what I thought of it so it'll be like trying it all over again when I use the rest of them but this is pink champagne and I thought this would smell pretty good too this smells like what you would imagine like a fizzy pink like a strawberry fizzy drink would smell like that's what this smells like I'm cold but I can't obviously it wasn't a standout because I can't remember what I thought of it when I burned it or melted it or maybe I just completely forgot and was like oh that smells really good and then I don't know didn't pay attention to what it was that I was melting but I have to try that again so that's it for Joanne's let's move on to Yankee that's probably what you came here for right and you know from the title all right so I'll start with the randoms first. These are all probably going to go to me, maybe. Um, I, the ones I bought duplicates of were the ones I was going to give to my sister. So I got a Lush Berries. If you guys have opinions on any of these, whether you like them or don't like them, or whether they're strong or weak, let me know because I'm happy to have your input. If they're weak, I want to I want to melt them right away and just be done with it. So lush berries, raspberry sorbet, summer scoop. These are some fruity ones. I think summer scoop's a popular one. I think people like raspberry sorbet too. I hadn't seen lush berries, so I don't know if that's like I don't know, kind of a more rare one. And then I have fresh mint. I probably would have gotten more of these if I found more. There was only one. This is like a mint mojito, like mint leaves. This, I like. Yum. Spearmint leaves. That's not one that I think everyone would like, but if you like, like spearmint leaves or mojitos, you'd like it. And then margarita thyme. I got this only because people really like this scent. Otherwise, this isn't one I would immediately, like, gravitate toward. Same with this one, Beach Holiday. I've seen um, people haul this candle. This just smells like a clean laundry scent to me. It does not smell like that picture. It doesn't smell like beachy or ozone-y. It just kind of smells like a generic laundry scent to me. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or give it to my sister. I actually thought I bought two, one to keep and one to give to her. So I might just give this to her because I think she would really like that. Next one is Sunset Breeze. There's hair stuck to it. And um, the sales associate told me that this is one of her favorites, so I just felt like obligated to pick it up <laughs> because of her. So um, I wasn't going to get it. I only spent like $17 and some change total on all of these. By the way, just to let you guys know, I used that extra 10% off. Like, whoa, such savings. Um, and then, of course, they were 49 cents each. 
So, I don't really know how to explain this one. But, is this new? Is this a new scent for this year? I'm not really sure. I also, I, I don't know if this matters. If this does, please comment down below and let me know. But, I tried to find the ones that didn't have, like, a hole on either side. Some of them, they just all did. But I tried to find ones that were, like, completely plastic wrap sealed in hopes that it would hold the scent in longer. Does that make a difference? Does it not? What's the shelf life of Yankee Wax Melts? I would, I would love to know. Um, next one is Bahama Breeze. I got this just because I felt like it's a good tropical summer scent. Maybe? I'm not sure. 50 cents. Worth a shot. Beechwood. I know this is a really popular one that people like in the candle form, and so I figured I might as well try it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to give this one to my sister. See, this is one that's like mostly sealed. Yeah, like almost 100% sealed, so I can't even smell it really. And then I got two chocolate ones because I thought, you know what, why not? I got a chocolate layer cake and a whoopie pie. Which one of these do you guys like better? Because I've never tried either. This is like straight fudge chocolate frosting. Like, just straight chocolatey goodness. And then this one, of course, is sealed because I looked for one that was sealed. So I have no idea what whoopie pie smells like, but I'm sure it's going to be chocolatey goodness. So those are all the single ones that I got. There were 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. 11 single ones. And the rest of these, I got two of each, so I'll just kind of smell one and show you one. I got Orange Dreamsicle. I imagine this to smell really good, but I did get two that are like completely sealed. So one's going to my sister, I think. I'm not quite sure because I don't know if she's going to like this scent. So I don't know if I want to give her one that she's going to be like, ew, that smells gross. But she can always put it in, melt it in her boys. She has two boys, two young boys. She can melt it in their room because they like wax melts. My three and a half year old nephew really likes wax melts. He just thinks it's so fun. He likes anything that smells good. Okay, next one is November Rain. I got this because I've heard people say they really like this scent. And it's either hard to find or like a limited edition thing or something like that. So one for her and one for me. Same with lavender vanilla. Well, actually not same as being rare, but lavender vanilla is just like a classic good scent. I am assuming that she's going to want to put one of these in like her boy's room around bedtime or something like that, like a relaxing bedroom scent. So one for her, one for me. I love lavender vanilla. For some reason, I feel like I heard that they were going to discontinue this scent. Is that true? Or are they just making it online only? I don't know. Either way, I wanted to get some. They had a bunch of different scents, but these were the ones that I, I don't know, I gravitated toward. And I have a $5 reward that I was waiting on and hoping they would send me the email so I could use it on this purchase. Of course, no. So I'm probably going to get that in the mail in the next couple days, and then I'll have to go back and use that because I don't foresee myself buying a whole lot more, and so I'd rather use it on stuff that's, like, ridiculously cheap that I can get for free, you know, whatever. Five dollars worth. Next one is white gardenia, and I actually got one for me and one for my mom because my mom really likes gardenia. And actually, no, I didn't even get one for myself. I lied. I got one for my sister, one for my mom, one for my sister. What am I doing? I'm being spoiled. Okay, and then I got two luscious plum. And I don't know if I'm going to give this to my sister because I don't know if she'll like this scent. So I think I'm going to end up keeping both of these for myself because um, I don't know if this is a scent that she would like. So I don't, want it, I, I don't want her to feel like overloaded with stuff that's not necessarily her style. She really likes like fresh, floral. She loves lilacs. And yeah, like that strong floral scent and like clean laundry scents, that kind of stuff. So on that note with flowers, I got two pink peonies and one is for her, one's for me. 
and this actually smells really good. Just looking at how they're printed. And, um, yeah, this to me kind of smells like roses, like what I imagine roses smelling like. So one for me, one for her. Summer Wish. I mostly got this um, for her, and then I was like, well, I want to try one myself. This is just like a fresh scent. Fresh green floral. Yum. This reminds me of springtime. I don't know why I said yum. But yum. It does smell good. Okay, and then Meadow Showers. Finding like the places where they're not sealed and then smelling them. And this is very similar in that like green grass spring scent. So that's good. Yummy, yummy. Smells good. And then Ocean Star. I've gotten like a tart of this before and I gave it to my nephew because I thought he'd like it with like the little uh, starfish. I bought it in like a recent haul where um, this one's like completely sealed. I wonder if they're different. Yeah, they are different colors too. Can you see that? Probably not. It's probably not showing up on camera. This one looks more saturated, so I'm actually going to give this one to her. I'll keep the crappy one. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I needed to, I had to add something into a purchase a while back in a haul of video, and it was an Ocean Star. I don't, you guys don't care about that. All right, next is Angel Wings. Angel, Angel's Wings, pardon me. One of these looks newer, and one of them looks older, and I was like, ooh, which is the one that would be better? The one that's like, I don't know, I was like, oh, this one might be soaked in oil because it's older, even though it's kind of like stained, whatever, and then this one's newer, and I'm like, eh, this one might not have a lot of scent, but I can't give this old looking one to my sister, so she's getting the newer one because it just looks better. Um, this is a really nice scent, you guys. I don't know how to describe this. I should have bought more of it. I'm going to melt this like right away because I, hopefully, I have so much stuff to melt. I want to see if I like it and if I'd want to go repurchase more. So I'm hoping to get through a couple of these this week before I go back um, and use that $5 card. So one for her, one for me, Angel's Wings. Tahitian Tiare Flower. I got this because um, Anthony from Candle Cafe, who I think of as my buddy and my like Yankee candle expert, he likes this in a candle. So I wanted to take a chance on it, although it smells... Well, now it doesn't smell this way. I'm imagining it's like Tahitian Tiare flower, like a tropical gardenia type flower, floral scent. And I think my sister will really like it, so of course I got one for her, one for me. But it smelled different in the store, like not as good. Now it smells better. So, I don't know. I'm going to give her the nicer one. This one's kind of like scraped up. And then I have Snowflake Cookie. I'm not giving either one of these one or one of these to my sister because I don't think that this is the scent that she'd like. So um, I'm keeping both of them. I don't know. I hear good things about this scent. A lot of people really like it. So that's that. And then I believe the last one, hopefully this video is not too long. Oh no, this video is long. Um, is Blue Summer Sky. Shoot, I thought I was going to have a fast video. Sorry, guys. Um, and this is just a nice, fresh, floral summer scent, too. So, one for her, one for me. Both of these are pretty sealed as well. So, that's it. So, all in all, I got her two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. There's eleven tarts for her. Um... And hopefully that'll last her. And then there's one for my mom. She doesn't like a lot of wax melts. She has a ton and she feels overwhelmed. And then, of course, I have a pile. But I don't feel, I do feel overwhelmed. But I don't care because I just, like, 
bask in my wax melts and that's <laughs> so sad but i love them i love anything scented so anyway thanks for watching guys i won't make this video any longer comment down below thumbs up if you like this video and um subscribe of course and i'll see you in my next video bye